our chatbot can answer questions. For example, we can ask him, uh, tell me about Edinburgh. And it will give us a comprehensive answer. But if I ask him, let's say, uh, what is the population of this city? And then uh, it will tell that it doesn't have enough information to answer this question because it does not store any memory about the previous conversation. So you can see that our chatbot cannot remember what we talked about just a few seconds ago, but we can easily fix it. Let's go to our app.tsx and here in the send response function, we are sending the payload that has messages array. And in this array, we only have one message. It's the last question that we asked uh, the model. And uh, to fix it and to make it remember the entire conversation, we just need to pass all the messages, all the dialogue. This is a simple, straightforward solution, but it has its own trade-offs. Because with every new message, with every uh, next question, the conversation will become longer and it will contain more tokens. And you know that Bedrock will charge you for amount of tokens. So the longer the conversation, uh, more expensive uh, it becomes for you to pay for this. But yes, uh, we can do this and let's just refactor our code a little bit. We already have the history array that has a list of the messages, but uh, the shape of this array is a bit different. So we need our each message to be of this shape, should have a role user or a assistant and the content with the questions and answers. And in our case, we have the author and the text. So let's just refactor it. First of all, let's go to our constants where we have model name and username. And I'm going to change it to what API is expecting from us. And I'll make user uh, just with a lowercase and the model name will be assistant. And then here in the history, I'm going to change the author to the role. And instead of the text, we are going to have a content and it's going to be an array of objects with a type gain string and text again string. And we can move these into the separate interface. Let's call it interface message and we are going to use it here so it's looking a bit cleaner and the next change we're going to make is to pass our history into this messages array. So we are leaving this the last question as it is. And we are just going to use the destructuring and pass our history. But you can see that our IDE uh, highlights some uh, bits of code in red. It's because we changed the uh, message object uh, so now when we are adding to history, it expects the text and the author, but we have a different uh, shape of the message now. We'll change this to the role. And instead of the author, we will change it to role. And then uh, here, instead of the text, we are going to have a content type, a content property that is an array of messages with type text and then it's just string text. Uh, 
uh, and you can see it is complaining I think it's because here we're passing an array and here I forgot to add an array so now it's all good with this one but it is complaining about the history map again because here we are going to have role and content instead of author and text so we replace author with role here and instead of the text we are going to have content then index zero text and the same is here so now we we have done our changes and the main change here is that we passed the history into this messages array uh, and everything else was just mostly refactoring to match the type of the message so let's refresh our page and let's try again let's ask cloud about edinburgh and now let's ask how big is the population of this city and unlike the previous time it shows us how many people live in edinburgh because now we are not just passing this question we also pass everything that was before um, again uh, i have to remind you that it will affect the cost of your bedrock so uh, be careful with that you may want to limit the size of the context you probably don't want to pass 1000 messages if a user uses it for like a long time you probably want to limit it to like 20 30 messages but it's again up to you uh, up to your application depends what you're going to do so that's it for today and in the next videos i'm going to show you more fun things that we can do with amazon bedrock so stay tuned hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications thank you